The Yugoslav monitor Vardar was a Sava-class river monitor built for the Austro-Hungarian Navy as SMS Bosna, but was renamed SMS Thames before she went into service. During World War I she was the flagship of the Danube flotilla, and fought the Serbian army, the Romanian navy and army, and the French army. She reverted to the name Bosna in May 1917, after the original SMS Thames was raised and returned to service. After World War I, she was transferred to the newly created Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes, later Yugoslavia, and renamed Vardar. During the German-led Axis invasion of Yugoslavia in April 1941, she was the flagship of the 1st Monitor Division, and along with her fellow monitor Sava, she laid mines in the Danube near the Romanian border during the first few days of the invasion. The two monitors fought off several attacks by the Luftwaffe, but were forced to withdraw to Belgrade. Due to high river levels and low bridges, the monitor's navigation was difficult, and they were scuttled by their crews on April 11. Some of her crew may have been killed when a demolished bridge collapsed onto a tugboat after they abandoned ship. A number tried to escape cross-country towards the southern Adriatic coast, but most were obliged to surrender to the Germans at Sarajevo on April 14. The remainder made their way to the Bay of Kotor, where they were captured by the Italian 17 Corps on April 17.